Today in our 2014 Chevrolet Express, we're test fitting the Swagman XC2. This is a platform style two bike rack. They've designed it so we can use it with the inch and a quarter or with two inch hitches. Part number on it is S64650. Now there's not a lot of hassle or, or mess to get bikes on and off of this rack. Something I like about it a lot. We got a front wheel hoop, rear wheel hoop, and then a frame hook that's going to hold our bike right down into those positions. We're not dealing with a bunch of straps or a bunch of Velcro or anything like that. Really nice, easy to operate. To remove our bike, we're just going to lift up on the frame hooks themselves. The one that's actually going to make contact with the bike, it has a little bit of give to it, so it's going to protect our frame, but it's stiff enough that we're not going to have to worry about our bike moving around. To release it, we just press in on the gray lever located on the cradle arm where it meets up with the mast. We'll just lift our bike up and out of there, just like that. Now the rack's going to give us about 21 and a half inches of ground clearance there at the very back. It's going to add about 17 and a quarter inches to the length of the van. And at its closest point here, it's going to be about two and three quarters of an inch away. As a convenience feature, we've got a little ball detent pin located right here in the middle. We can pull that out, rotate our mast into the stored position. Let's check for our clearance here. Yeah, perfect. We'll be able to open that door up fully, both sides, get stuff in or out that we might need, and then be able to close it back up without any issue. Now when it comes to storage convenience, this rack is really handy there as well. Same style pins down here, but this time they're located on the outside. These are going to be for our wheel cradle arms. Sometimes you want to adjust these up a little bit to give that clearance. We just reinsert the pin, do that for the other side. And there we go. Now, the closest point up here, this stays the same. The overall length we've added to the vehicle is going to stay the same. Our ground clearance is going to change slightly. We've now got about 18 and a half inches. But you can see how nice and compact that is. Fits up against the wall of the garage, maybe under a cabinet or something, keeps it out of the way so we don't have to mess with it all the time. Now, the XC2 is a nice stable bike rack. Swagman provides an anti-rattle bolt with it. You just thread that in. Tighten it down. It's going to pull this shank right over against the receiver tube of the hitch, make everything nice and stable. Then you just slide a clip through the back side. Now that we've had a good look at the Swagman XC2 and we've seen how it's going to fit our 2014 Chevrolet Express, let's take a look and see how that bike rack performed when they had it out on the test course. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side to side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway.